Hello everybody, it's Mick from Just a Bushcraft and in my latest camper van video I'm going to be taking a look at these the much anticipated window storage units made by Andro So I've just taken uh, delivery of this I shan't bore you with the uh, unpacking but let's get inside and see what we've got Hey <laughs> brass fittings right so I knew a little bit about this before I received it um, and I knew that I would be able to charge this using a solar panel which I can mount on the roof of my camper van and I knew it came with a selection of cables so you've got your cigarette lighter cable which you can plug into there and you can charge your charge the unit uh, when you're traveling You've got the 240 volt charger, so you can bring it in at, at night when you're at home, charge it at home. And then you've got an output there, so you can plug in your auxiliary items that use a cigarette lighter socket. But um, as regards the solar panel, powering this with the solar panel, I thought, well I have got a solar panel, but it's got the um, big solar panel uh, connectors on it and I was trying to think how I can make a lead up to connect the solar panel uh, to this in the best way but it's already been thought for me it comes with a lead with the big solar panel connectors on it down to the little sort of jack plug there that goes into the unit so I don't even have to think about that it's already done for me that is brilliant. I'm really pleased with that. That's going to save me a lot of time and effort. It looks like a good length of lead as well for going out through the window to the solar panel. That's brilliant. Right, to the Batman bit, uh, to the uh, Berlingo. Before we take a closer look at these units, just want to explain that these are designed for the Citroen Berlingo and the Peugeot Partner TP, and they basically fit in the rear window space which is like a recess uh, a recessed area it's uh, wasted space really and Andro have come up with this design that makes use of that space creating additional storage Okay, that's the first window storage unit fitted, relatively easy, um, there is a video on the Andro YouTube channel that shows you how to install these, but it's pretty pretty straightforward, you just put it into place, having put the, the window blinds in the window, uh, there's two little, there's two little angle brackets here that just click over around the back of the plastic of the trim uh, this screw here which you will have removed which holds this you, they provided an extra long screw to replace that one to go into there and at the top you have this bracket and a bolt which goes in there's a hole inside inside there uh, with a slot in it you just slot the bolt around the back tighten this up Put this allen screw in, uh, allen bolt, secure it all in and then just tighten them all up. Um, the, bra the cover for the bracket will go back, but you can see it's just there and it does explain in the instructions that, that Andro sent to you. Uh, some of the, these are different on different vehicles, um, different years of models. I just have to cut away the plastic there so that fits nicely over the top and then I can replace that back as it was so uh, that's something I'll do later on for now I'll just leave it off and uh, 
There's your storage magnet catches. Nice bit of storage in there. On the other side, same again. So this side is the one without the power pack. But um, no, it's nice and nice and firm in there. That's not going anywhere. It'd be interesting to see whether this rattles at all when you're driving. But uh, we'll do a test on that. Right, I'm hoping you can hear me okay. Uh, just going out on a little test drive um, with the camera poised on the uh, one of the Andro window, window storage units. And it's just to see how it is for rattling, basically. Uh, there are magnetic catches on there, uh, metal brass hinges, um, and of course it's all bolted into the framework of the vehicle, so we're just going to see how it performs uh, whilst driving. We don't have anything in the uh, storage units at the moment other than a few light items, so I haven't got any tin cans or anything like that, or plastic boxes. Okay, so you've got the two storage areas, you've got the lower area there, strong magnets to secure the door, and it's got a few bits and pieces thrown in there, and then the slightly smaller one up at the top, it's a nice little storage area. Now what you will notice there is I've got, I fitted thermal, thermal blinds in there. Now what I originally did is I'd already made these to fit the whole window but when I came to fit the window storage unit I found that the thickness of the thermal blinds was too thick and it wouldn't sit right in the window recess. Um, because these are such a snug fit, perfect fit, they're only designed to be used with the uh, thermal blinds that come with the Amdro the thin um, material that goes at the back of uh, supposed to go at the back of this unit. So what I had to do is I had to I had to remove this thermal blind, cut it down the middle, reseal it, and then I've got a small section there, and then a similar section in there, and it just presses in nicely. I've still got the Andro window blind at the back, and then I've got these thermal blinds inside. Just giving me a bit of extra insulation. When fitting these, um, just a little tip: when I first did mine, I attached the two secure the screw there and the bolt there, but I nipped that one up first rather than that one. Uh, you can see there that that bracket is nice and flush with the unit. When I first did it, tightening that one first, this was sitting off, and uh, I didn't like it, so I just backed that one off. Tighten that one up first and then tighten that one up after and uh, that brought it in nicely. So that's just a little tip for you there. Right, so this is the driver's side storage unit. And this is the exciting one. Again, you've got the um, same storage area. Now you can see there, I've got the Andro blind that fits. It's just a thin sort of foamy fabric -y stuff with the suckers. Um, I'll have to take that one out because I have a sticker in the window there that I can't get off. But once I get my thermal blind fitted in, which is here, once that's in place, uh, that'll just 
hold that up there, it'll be fine. Um, just a quick one on the thermal blinds. I will do an extra video on this. Um, it's basically corrugated, sort of plastic, fluted card kind of stuff um, with the silver backed bubble wrap on either side, making like a sandwich. And then I've covered it in a sort of vinyl and I've just secured it around the edges with a heat gun. And that seems to work quite well. Um, so in the top there, you can see that's the display on the power supply unit that comes with the storage unit. It's actually an op optional extra, but I went for that because I thought it would be really handy. Uh, you can control everything there, but there's not a lot to control basically. Um, but you can see the charge of the battery. Uh, switch it on. You can see it's upside down, but you can see the battery's fully charged. It shows whether the USB or the cigarette lighter power is available because it's on DC. Um, we'll look into that in more detail after. So that's that. And inside the bottom is where the power supply unit is fitted. It's like a bracket there. And again, I'd fit, I've got these thermal blinds, but because of the thickness of them, this wouldn't push right the way in as it should do. Uh, so I've had to just do a little cut out in the thermal blind and reseal it. Bit of fiddling around, but it got there in the end, it didn't take me that long. And that just now fits in nice. That's your auxiliary socket that most the Lingos and partners have, depending on the age of the vehicle. And that can keep this, look and charge this while you're driving. Or you can attach a solar panel on the input and charge it that way. Or you can plug it into the mains and just charge it in your house. Got two USB ports, three outputs. This one here goes to the little light there. This is on the side, which has another USB and a USB at the back. So the kids can charge the phones and iPads. And you've still got a bit of storage space there. Right, another thing to point out is when you fit these, you then can't fit, refit the parcel shelf back in easily. Because um, normally you would bring the parcel shelf in and angle it into this void back here and then straighten it and then push it into these little points here. Once these are in, you can't do that. So I'll show you what I've done. All we had to do is I just had to use a hacksaw and just saw one of those little sections there off the end and then do that on all of them and then just cut a bit off the end of these rubber covers and just refit them. And now the parcel shelf slides in easily now. So I can still refit the parcel shelf. Now what I did do is I'd cut a bit off the edge of here. Only a couple of, couple of millimetres. I probably didn't need to do that. But um, you can't tell when it's in. You, you know, can't tell that it's there. It's been done so it's not too bad. But yeah, you will need to just adapt your parcel shelf if you want to refit it. Right, that's the uh, parcel shelf back in situ. You see there, that fits in there. Okay, still secure. Right, just going back to the power pack. Um, I have seen a lot of videos with camper vans where people have leisure batteries and inverters and charge controllers and all various different additions to the vehicle which is fine if you've got a fixed unit camper conversion. In my case mine's a removable solution um, which I'll go through in more detail on another video but that's the, that's the uh, that's the way I've chosen to have my camper van so for me to have a leisure battery permanently installed just wasn't a viable option 
when I saw this, I thought that's brilliant. It's just exactly it's what I want. It's a self-contained unit. It just slides out like that. And you can see there on the bracket, there's some sort of the fluffy side of the Velcro stuck inside so it just fits in there nice and snug. And you can see there I've cut out the thermal blind and then that's the Andro blind at the back. That's how that fits in there. But yeah, this is the unit. Like I say, it's an inverter to 230 volts, so you can plug all your mains powered uh, appliances in there, your laptops or well, whatever Obviously you like. This is really. removable. Removable. I can take that if I'm camping in a tent. Um, I can go and use this in the tent for power inside the tent. Um, if I'm having a picnic, I can take that with me. I can take it anywhere. It's portable. And then on the back side of it, you've got an LED light there, which it's got two settings and then off. So you've always got a light. It's not very heavy. It's very portable. So it's great. Um, I'll switch it on. You can see there we're on DC power at the moment. You can change to AC to use the inverter back to DC. Um, it's also a UPS. Um, doubt I'll ever use that. So uh, pretty straightforward really. And that just slots back in there. Like that. Plug the light back in, like that. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that. I really like that. That's going to be really useful. And I will be coming up with some kind of configuration for the solar panel input, which I'll uh, mount on the vehicle somewhere. Not permanent, it'll be a temporary uh, fix for the solar panel, but I want it so I can sort of attach it anywhere on the roof depending on where the sun is again that's going to be on another video so yeah so that's the uh, that's the power unit side of things and what I will say about these units uh, a couple of things um, they're not cheap but you get what you pay for um, I've always said once the price is forgotten the quality will always be remembered and I've always tried to stick by that yes they're quite expensive um, but if you haven't got the tools or the skills to make these then you know it's uh, I think it's worth paying the worth, pay, worth paying the money um, it is quality it's very well made um, and it, it all matches the the Andro boot jump unit I've already got so it all just ties in nicely and uh, I didn't mind paying uh, paying the money because you get what you pay for so uh, I mean if you have got the skills and you've got the tools then by all means have a go um, but uh, there's a lot of thought gone into this design and uh, I think it's really good so uh, and the addition of the power unit is uh, is excellent. Like I say, that's a optional extra. It's uh, well worth having, I think. So there you go. That's the window storage units by Andro. Um, I hope you found that of use. If you've got any questions, then uh, feel free to leave a comment down below, and I'll try and answer them as best I can. I will put a link up for the uh, Andro website and YouTube page where you can. Uh, see a video how, and how to install them but like I say any questions uh, don't hesitate to ask me and I'll do my best to answer them so I hope you enjoyed that if you did please remember to like and subscribe thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video